In this video, I thought I should show you a couple of things. Now, this is soldering wire. It helps in soldering electronic components onto motherboards. And then this is actually soldering gun and this one helps with providing heat that helps melt the solder so that things can be soldered in place. Now we have here thermal or solder paste. Actually this is solder paste. It's just soldering wire in best format and this is actually used in conjunction with a hot air gun which may not fit under the screen and this is how it looks like to allow attached components. This here is what you would call a solder suction tool to help suck out the molten solder from the point you want to get rid, it, rid of it from and that is a very important device. This is a pair of tweezers, repair tweezers. It helps you with holding components of the motherboard or placing them onto the motherboard as you apply heat onto the solder points and that is either using a hot air gun or the soldering gun tip. Now this here is rubber glue and this solvent helps me with uh, screen replacement or gluing parts together in a way that in future I can be able to take them apart by simply adding more solvent unlike the use of super glue. Talking of super glue, this right here is super glue. Now this I use it to build mostly frames of the devices that I have cracked into sheets and pieces and therefore this helps me hold it together that was super glue for you on the other hand i have my set of pliers right here and these pliers actually allow me both cut wire and expose wires and also to hold components that i am going to solder and i kind of hold it between my knees which is interesting that is the pair of pliers for you. Earlier on some time I actually showed you a screwdriver. This is a screwdriver for mostly big electronics and this is a Philips tip type version that I normally use for opening TVs, hoofers, uh, home theaters and so on and so forth. Meet the tin snips. This is for cutting sheet metal because it has a very um, high mechanical advantage so it helps me cut sheet metal effortlessly in case i need them to sort of design anything that i cannot find around so having talked about the tin snips i may take you back to what i call soldering paste and this simply helps uh, prevent solder from oxidizing while it is being applied from it making it uh, fluid and flowable and very important to now this right here is a toothbrush and this toothbrush is uh, of the purpose that it helps me clean where I'm going to do the electronics from um, to make sure there's no dirt on the points that I'm trying to solder of course I tend to use this isopropyl alcohol empty right now but it's a volatile fluid that uh, cleans any organic dirt. I don't know whether it's polar and cleans any polar dirt, but yeah, this is also for cleaning surfaces. Unfortunately, it can fit under the screen. Now, talking of that, we have what we call electrical tape. This is important because it helps in insulation and mostly because it has a high dielectric constant. It prevents two wires near each other from shorting to each other. And that is very important when you're working with high voltages and as much as even during small voltages it's a very important insulator the surgical blade uh, unlike a razor blade i have found this to be both stiff and versatile one it helps me in taking apart phones when prying in between those small gaps alongside prying between those small gaps that are uh, between laptop frames and items that are right there. So this is the Sagiko blade. It's a very important device and don't look down on it. Now having mentioned those, I know I have many more other items that I need to show you. But for now, let me just show you our screwdriver set to cater for most of the phones that you would need to work on. And this allows you be able to work on an iPhone, a Techno, Samsung, and any other phone, Nokia too. 
very interesting. And that is it for now. I think let me also show you something that is very important that over time has actually helped me so much. And that is the electric drill. Because it's tedious and monotonous and boring to always unscrew screws by hand, I decided to get this electric rechargeable screwdriver. Let me show you. Right now it has a screwdriver bit. It helps me with unscrewing screws. This is the one I would use for a laptop. Open 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 then close so it rotates in both direction this saves a plethora of time when working so feel free to hit the subscribe button if you're new here and i shall see you in the next video but before i go there i have my safety goggles this came through aliexpress and this helped me when let's say i'm taking off a screen guard from the phone and all those tiny fragments of glass are flying around it protects my eyes need to have one of these very important tool i believe if you like this far it's only fitting that i request you to hit the subscribe button because i think you will enjoy this channel see you in the next video finally